we will get our collective shit together. Wow, wow. We did it before. We'll do it again. So uh, when just... we were separated, when we were separated, we built our own communities, had our own banking system, had our own police force. We had our own society, good and bad, like anybody else. And we were fine. It's just that when other races saw that, you know, the race whose backs you rode on to get great. When you saw that they were going to be greater than you, when you saw you're going to have to do business with them the same way you do business with everybody else. The only difference is everybody else that you're doing business with, you don't owe them an apology. You don't owe them reparations. You don't owe them a restoration. You don't owe them repatriations. You don't owe them anything. Because they, <coughs> pardon me, folks, because they was in on the heist like you was. So all of a sudden, you see you got to do business with them. You have to respect them. And at some point, you have to atone for what you've done. So don't sit here and fool yourself that after years, centuries, eons of doing that, that all of a sudden they want integration. You must be out your rabid mind. You can't integrate with something unless you exist separately to start with. I'm going to come in your house, rape, rob, and pillage, and take everything. Erase your family history. Give you my name. Tell you that everything in your house is mine. That you can't have none unless I say so. That you can't walk, talk, or do anything unless I say so and how much. As a matter of fact, if you do it too well, I'm just going to change the laws and make you do it a different way. At the end of the day, what I have done is I've reduced you to property. Now I want you to go along and get along. And that's the integration piece. When you integrate something into your system, it becomes a part of you. It does not become beneath you. It is equal to you. And that hasn't happened yet. There's no integration. The white population has dominated this planet and continues to dominate it at the expense of the melanated people in so many different ways. I would be here for the next 28 hours trying to tell you, you don't have to like what I'm saying. It's the truth. Deal with it. And at some point, we got to stop being cowards as a people. Stop hiding behind flags. Stop hiding behind borders that they drew for you. We still the same. I guarantee you, if whatever it was that came down over Oregon the other day or whatever it was that flew over the UK the other night or whatever it was that shook the Midwest about two o'clock this morning, if any of that turns out to be the end of this world, all of a sudden ain't nobody going to care about a border, a flag or skin color or nothing else. Maybe that's what it's going to take. Because the shooting down of black men in America at the hands of police don't seem to do it. The, the genocide that's being committed against the folks in Ethiopia ain't going to seem to do it. The, the, the continued atrocities in Nigeria doesn't seem to do it. As a matter of fact, it doesn't appear that any place where melanated people are being murdered, kidnapped, raped, or moved in sex trafficking just doesn't seem to make a difference in 2021. So how can you sit here and talk to me about integration? How can you sit here when you won't even let me separate to get myself together? We as a people need to separate, not this because we're a warrior caste that we're going to see. They so scared we're going to come back and do something to them that they don't even want to let us get in the corner to get ourselves together. But you have to ask yourself a question, no matter where you are in the world, listening to Black Diamond Radio and listening to Grandmas Jay right now. Let me just go ahead and keep it a buck, as they say on the streets. Do you think they deserve it? You see, when you won't apologize for something, you deserve it. When you won't, when you won't repay or equalize the playing field, you deserve it. When you, when you are hypocritical, you write a law that says nothing will infringe, nothing can abridge, nothing. But then you turn around and actually do it. The girl was knocking on the door, Alpha, because the governor was signing a bill that was rolling stuff back to the 60s. And they arrested her for knocking on the door. Yet these people climbed over the walls, climbed through 
the windows, put doo-doo on the walls, kill people, hit somebody with a fire extinguisher, stole a laptop, had a good old time. But, you know, you know, do I have to fill it in for you? How much longer are y'all going to talk about? It? How much longer are y'all going to have round tables? that don't go nowhere. How much longer are y'all gonna sit around and worry about who's in the spotlight? How much longer are you gonna keep sitting on your ass collectively as a people and not get off of it and do something and not be afraid of the repercussions? The only reason my brother that I still have a case the only reason that I'm still being kept quiet by the U.S. government, the only reason that you don't hear them lifting up the deceased president like they would, let's say, if the president of France passed away, the reason you don't see that is because I'm saying one thing, but I'm speaking with a forked tongue like I always have. And you black folks keep falling for it time and time again. That's what he's saying to you. And until you do something different, he's going to keep giving you the same thing over and over again and then have the audacity to ask you why you don't want to integrate. He's trying to make you feel bad because you won't play his game. You're guilt tripping you. So the politics of the world today are nothing more than symptoms of a bigger problem. The situations that are going on internationally with the vaccine are symptoms of a bigger problem. The injustices that you're seeing happening here in the United States are still. Let me let me let me hit y'all to something that y'all don't know. You, you probably don't know this. Before the mass shootings, everybody was talking about the, the CNN interview with the, the queen and, you know, the princess and how she came out and was telling everybody that, you know, that, that there's some real racism going on up there in the palace. Exposed it. The whole world was all up in it. Was the baby going to be too dark? It was, it was looking real bad. It was looking real bad. Mm -hmm. Then somebody got shot over here in the States. Yeah, mm, yeah, yeah. You got some shootings that took place. Mm, all of this is going down. But what you fail to realize is they're doing the same thing to the new vice president quietly over here in the United States. Oh, y'all ain't heard yet. You know, all you sisters that voted for the VP because she, she, she counted on y'all for the black vote. See, that's another thing. They keep taking your political power. Then once they get it, they don't give a damn about you. Oh, they quietly giving her the game too. She can't, she ain't even moved into the house yet. Nah, she can't move into the VP house yet. She's living out of a suitcase. Quietly. I know she's probably having moments where she's like, that ain't what they said. They said if I became the vice president, I was gonna listen, I was there, yeah. And you fell for the okie doke. You thought you were playing them, they played you. That's what they do to all societies. That's what they're doing right now. I like what you said, to hell with the BBC. We'll get on here, we'll get on our own. TV program and talk about it. So, and that's what y'all have got to start doing. You got to do more than just talk about it. On April the 10th, the black on black formation in the UK. You see, you get over your differences. I'm glad to see that. Now you can speak to power collectively. That's the other thing that we're not doing, people. We ain't doing none collectively. Like, like, like Alpha said, a lot of y'all, you think you can do it yourself. You think just because somebody opened the door, you can run through it. The door was open for everybody together. You understand now that the very people that you keep trying to integrate with are the very people who shut down every attempt that you take to unify yourselves. And if you can't see that, then you're part of the problem.